Hi there. For all you archery enthusiasts, I'm going to teach you how to make a new type of finger sling. One which I call the necktie finger sling. Now, I became tired of tying the traditional finger sling each time I had to go and fetch an uh, end of arrows, which can be many, many times in a day. So I came up with this necktie finger sling, which can be easily made and customized to the size of your hand. The idea with my version of the finger sling is that it can be put on and easily taken off your hand to retrieve your arrows and then easily be put back on again without having to tie it each time. But first I'm going to show you how to tie a necktie, more specifically a necktie with what is called the Windsor knot. First I start off with the long end on my left hand side. I take that and cross that over to the right and I bring it through the loop on the right hand side take the long end and I cross it over from behind to the left hand side and I go into the loop on the left hand side Right now I take the long end, cross it over the front and come in through the loop from behind, take the end and I tuck it into the part that just came in from the front. Now tighten and neaten it and there you have a Windsor knot on a necktie. Now the reason I like this Windsor knot is because it's, I find it's the most balanced and evenly tied necktie and it can easily be worked loose and tightened back up again without losing its form time after time. Now let's take a closer look at my necktie finger sling. At both ends you can see Windsor knots being tied. In the center is actually two Windsor knots crossed over each other to form a bigger knot. Now it's important to actually tie the knot up in the center otherwise the loose strands can get tangled up with your arrow when it's being drawn and shot. Okay let's get started. I find that using a shoelace or boot lace of a approximately 130 centimeters or about 51 inches is ideal. So first I fold the lace in half. Then I measure from the folded end around about 7 centimeters or just under 3 inches from the fold and fold the two ends over. Now this measurement depends on the size of your hand and how loose or how tight you want the finger sling to be. So you may have to try this a couple of times to get your ideal size. Right, fold the two sides in and create a valley, which is the seven centimeters. Then I tuck the one end in between my pinky and ring finger just to hold it there while I work on the other end. Okay, I'm going to make my first ones a knot. Take the longer left side, cross it over to the right and start tying the necktie. In goes the first strand through the right hand side crossing around the back and through the loop on the left side now crossing back over the front and pulling it through
Fred Owens not. Pull that tight. Right, that's the first knot. Go back to the fold that was kept in between my pinky and the ring finger. Take the loop. Make sure the long, the longer side crosses over from the left to the right, and do the same knot again. Okay, to the right, round the back. front through the loop and time in. Pull them up tight. Right, at this point in time, you've got your two Windsor knots for your fingers. What you want to do is just try them on for size. And put them a bit tight to neaten them. So you get a good gauge in terms of the size of the string. Alright, let's take it off again and fold the center knot. Okay, lay it up on the table, cross over the strands. Okay, now pick up the one end with the longer, longer strand on the left hand side and hold the other two strands together to form the other end of the necktie. Right. Long one crossing over. Folding it on the right. Crossing it on the back. Through the loop. and tight. That's the first knot. Alright, turn the sling around to tie the second set and knot. Long line on the left, crossing over. And to the right side, around the back. Front loop nearly there. Right, pull the knot tight. Now just pull these two knots into the center. And you have your necktie, finger sling. Let's put it on, just neaten it up.
right now check each knot is tightened and neat the middle knot tight together and there you have your finger sling once you use it it's easy to take off the one end go and retrieve your arrow come back slip it back on and you're ready to shoot that's how you do, do how you create the necktie finger sling all done in a couple of minutes so that's how you create the necktie finger sling it's easy happy shooting